the worst WCW episode of all time. I was six months old when this happened, but I did manage to find the footage of an old VHS tape of my reaction to 2000's WCW. Gaga, goo goo, this shit is boo boo. Wow. No, but seriously, I've never seen an episode of WCW. I've heard the more famous stories about this promotion, but today we're going to revisit perhaps the most famous episode ever. Famously bad episode ever. WCW Thunder from April 26, 2000. According to the synopsis, it's an episode of Thunder where it features mostly short matches and one very controversial main event. This is the episode of Thunder where WCW World Champion DDP put his title on the line in a tag match which already sounds fucking terrible. He teamed with Ready to Rumble star and husband of Courtney Cox, David Arquette, to face Jeff Jarrett and Eric Bischoff and whoever scored the pinfall would become champion. The commentary line coming from Tony Schiavone, quote, I'm gonna say it again because I don't believe it, David Arquette is the world champion. The chosen one, Jeff Jarrett, is placing the blame on this man, David Arquette, for losing the world's heavyweight title. Seriously, Monica, this is the guy that you married? This double J jabroni? Are you f- They've snatched him. No, Mr. Arquette! Mr. Cox, shall I say? Mr. Cox? What are you, a big fan of Scrubs? Big Scrubs guy, that Jeff Jarrett. Big Scrubs guy. I'm no Superman. Superman. Oh, what a sitcom. Honestly, elite. They are. Paige, I'm gonna snap his neck like a damn twig. Now get out here now. Can you imagine on live television, he was like Peter Griffin in that one episode of Family Guy where he's just like... But yeah, so far, first impressions, this show feels very bushly. I don't know how to explain it, but compared to Attitude Era Monday Night Raws I've watched, this just feels cheaper. And you know, speaking as a 90s kid myself, my opinion on this kind of thing does matter. <laughs> November 2nd, 1999, but still. Against you and Mr. Cox in a tag match. Whoa! And most importantly, the WCW World the WCW World Title. <laughs> he glitched out a bit there. He was like, the Oh shit, my mic's not plugged into the- uh, No one in the party can fucking hear me. Uh, the WCW World- Screw you! Sugar Gay? Screw me! Whoa! Call me Sugar Gay one more time. Yeah, screw you! Oh no, 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 no! Who's Sugar Gay? <laughs> Paige! No, screw you both. This shit already sucks. I hate it here. Maybe this is like the, the Gen Z in me. I can't watch the, like something I don't like for too long. Somebody load up Subway Surfers right now. I can't do this. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's either gonna be Mr. Cox huh. or it's gonna be your ass. <laughs> it's either gonna be Mr. Cox or your ass. What a TJ. thing to say. I don't want it. Oh! Look at that! And behind the franchise! Woo! Oh, the Nature Boys here! Woo! I don't know who this Kimberly character is, but uh, woo! Oh, oh no! Diamond cutter, pile driver, slammer! I can't believe it. Oh, <laughs> <second thoughts. laughs> Never mind, this shit is awesome. I'm back in. What the fuck is this? I love how the commentator was like, Slammer, fuck her up. Oh, yeah. What even uh, were the early 2000s? Also, Pile Driver, I hardly know her. Ah, ha, ha. Put her in a diamond cutter right there, and he said, No, forget about it. He's going to get out of here. Oh, no. Did you see what she did to him? I'll be honest, though. I don't really see the problem. Like, he got slapped and hit in the balls. That's just another day at the office for a guy like me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, would you look at little baby Tony Schiavone. Wow. Although, I will say, there is a bit of a common link developing. Tony Schiavone, you're on Fraud Watch. That's oh, too bad a wrestling episodes now. You're gonna, put, you're gonna become a part of that common link. That common link between Ronda Rousey, Vicky Guerrero, and... Happy, happy, joy, joy. So... Diamond Dallas Page here on this program tonight, but Page said forget about it, and now... Holy shit, did you guys not discover audio control in the year 2000? What the fuck? Oh my god, I would have turned the channel on that alone. Yo, what the fuck is happening on Monday Night Raw? I don't want to listen to this anymore. Don't you ever stop me from dancing, and don't you ever touch my James Brown CD collection. You hear me? I might have to hurt you. Well, I mean, he's got a good point. James Brown does slap, so... Oh, take care of my business. Now, this is your cue to get the hell out of here. Take those bird legs and do what you can do and get the hell out of here, because I'm about to burn this floor. I want to dance. The hell with WCW. 
<sighs> this is probably what they mean when they say crack hit in the 80s. It must have still been in a system two decades later. This dude was speaking absolute nonsense, and then all of a sudden he was like, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, I just saw a wave if you don't like me sign. Also, don't think I didn't see that random suburban soccer mum in the crowd getting jiggy with it. Uh, can, can I- can I- can I say something? But yeah, I guess this guy's name is The Cat. Um, I've never heard of him to be completely honest. But on the other channel, they've got that jabroni Valvina spinning his cock and balls, so I guess I'll stay here. Yeah, we fucking see you, dude! You know, it hurt me every time I had to walk down this aisle to kick you in your fat to kick you in your face, but it was payback. What did you expect me to do? You're a big, bad man. You're my hero. I look up to you. Oh my goodness, give this guy, I said, give that guy some cadence. This dude's out here speaking like he's Kramer in Seinfeld off the Cafe Lattes. Well, hello, Jerry. Yeah. Let me send a chomp out here so I can beat him to death. What? What? What is this? Okay. Hey, hey. Is Bam Bam even considering this? But before this? you go, I want you to know one thing. I saw your mom out back, and your precious are bigger than hers. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He was like, Bam Bam, yeah, we cool as hell. I want to fight you, bro, man. I, I was tripping. We good? Are we good? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I could get calcium from your fat milkers, though. <laughs> and Mitch Hancock's arrived. I don't know, and what is she taking notes about? She's always got that clipboard. I don't know who Miss Hancock is, but I'm trying to get my cock in her hand. What? Oh, Miss Hancock is Stacy Keebler. Okay, that makes sense. Them legs don't lie. I should have known. This, all, this was on me. My bad. <laughs> the match ends pretty quickly with Meow Man hitting a kick and pinning Bam Bam, and then Bam Bam presses X to attack after the match cutscene and takes out the cat to leave. Billy Kidman and Tori Wilson show up to the building as DDP is looking for David Arquette, who is currently being held hostage in the anals of the arena. They then transition back to a Sean Stasiak and Chris Canyon match where Mr. Perfect is watching on. Sounds oh, like uh, Sean Stasiak. I got under your skin a little bit, Kurt. About what? Like, the P word. What? Uh, what? I don't like where this is going. The P word? I don't know what it means in America, but in the UK, let's not. I mean, seriously, do you guys want bad press? Do you want people to hate your television show? Do you want to go out of business in a year? I mean. Oh, they did? Good. I will say though, I've only really heard the name Chris Canyon, you know, through like uh, other people, but this guy has a cool look. I like it. Just got a little hit of jealousy there, Kurt. Could that be possible from me? You must be talking to Tony Sh Shabroni or whatever his name is over here. I have <laughs> Tony Shabroni. I like it. Awesome. Holy fucking shit. That was a high angle German suplex. CT. Yeah. Well, I mean, that match was basically pointless as well, but I do love Mr. Perfect. I will say that. Yeah. Right now. To the table right here at our not, the, not the broadcast table. Not the Jesus. Ooh, that was a hellacious table bump. Damn, Rosa. Man, Stasiak, and awesome. There's that diamond cutter. Yeah, that was a little bit awkward. <laughs> but I mean, who doesn't love a good diamond cutter, you know? Sheer genius. Make that fool fall for that. So Diamond Dallas Page and David Arquette, if we can find him tonight. You know, I always really liked Billy Kidman's attire. He straight up said, you know what, Tony Hawk's pro skater? Can I go ahead and copy your homework? I can? Bet. I'm not a fan of his little Hulkster merch shirt, though. I, I'm assuming that's to do with the Hogan Brett storyline they're alluding to right now. And with all due respect, that Tory Wilson. Not as good as Liv Morgan, though, so. Um, this was recorded before the events of Monday Night Raw. I don't want to talk about it. I'm very sad. I'm, I'm actually depressed. Um. <sighs> Okay, never mind. They're not on Team Hogan, okay? And suddenly, I like him again. Mark Merrow, and you know who's with him? It's a long-time boxing trainer. This Mark Merrow guy looks like he would have cleaned up in the 80s and 90s. What a stud. I came to see Tori Wilson. Well, I just came to Tori Wilson. <laughs> Hogan dogged me. He buried me. He said Billy Kidman couldn't draw the flea market. I'm talking here, shut the hell up! Uh, this is a little cringe. <laughs> I've also noticed a real trend with this promotion so far in this episode. They love insider terms. And well, you know, brother, I'm a draw, and you know, he buried me last week. We get it. Okay, you know wrestling lingo. <laughs> I, Billy Kidman, 
am the man that they want their kids to be like. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'm going to issue an open challenge to anybody in the back who thinks that they can swat this flea. <laughs> Swipe this flea? Uh, I will say though, Billy Kidman's WWE theme song, which I've heard before, is an underrated banger. That shit goes crazy. I can't wait to make, I mean, see you sweat. But I will love to give the kiss. Of death. This episode is so dog sh WCW. I hate it. I just feel as though I'm wasting my time. And Tori Wilson, we love you, but not your best one. Shut up and wrestle or I'll kick your ass. Tank rules WCW for life. Wow. I bet the person holding this side is intimidating. I bet he could kick my ass. Oh, good God. Well, if it isn't Gus from Recess talking shit. Well, if it isn't Little Poindexter talking shit. Well, if it isn't former member of the 100 Thieves Mob Frosty talking shit. He says he's in the hospital. No, hold on. Wow, I just want to go ahead and say, Hulkster, you have never looked any better. Although, uh, Hogan, you're, you're losing just, just a little, just a little bit of hair. Uh, just, just there. Yeah, just a bit. Right there. You got it. <laughs> By the way, dude named Horace. Horace Hogan. A motherfucker named Horace. A mother looked at this baby and said, Horace. Hogan. The only motherfucker named Horace that I can actually think I respect is Horace from Family Guy. May God rest his soul. Season 12 spoilers. Sorry if you're not caught up from an episode that happened 10 years ago. You bitch. The fight, what we've seen. We have taken the fight that we have seen. Right to Billy. Yeah, that's great, Horace, but I'm a bit distracted here because they're both practically wearing the same attire. Are you here to wrestle or do kickflips? Wh which one? Look at this dude with the Tori Wilson marry me sign. She's right in front of you, bro. Shoot your shot. You see, a guy like me would never fumble an opportunity, not with my crush. No way. I'd never. If I turn around and that image is there, I'm going to lose it. Anything like this to fight for before. Oh, oh no. Hold the phone, Bischoff has come out. It's almost as if we could predict something like this would happen. Oh my god, what is this guy doing out here? <laughs> He's looking for a table. We've seen it so many times, we should know by now when they duck their head underneath the ring, they're looking for the table. Okay, okay, hang on a second. This could get interesting here. Screaming Tori Wilson. Tori Wilson oh. doing all she can do, the great equalizer, and it stops Horace Cole. What the fuck? She's not even low-blowing him. She just grabbed his dick. That's not painful. I've heard. And he kicks Mickey J in the gut. And he whacked Horace Hogan. C T E. Ow. Back up and get the ball. Oh. Oh. Hit first on the table. He may have broke his neck. And Bischoff's gonna count his academic. Seriously, this is so fucking bad and painful. I hate it. Like, I seriously need to go ahead and brush my teeth with something good after this episode. You know, something like an NXT takeover. No, I think we better tell Uncle Hulk to be ready in the morning. Tori, kiss me. Kiss me, please, Tori. I want to die. I don't want to watch this episode anymore. I'm bored. Mwah. On Monday night, our WCW.com internet location completely obliterated. Our WCW internet location? Is this how the internet used to work? It was just in one location? Damn, man. The olden days were ass, bro. Ghostberg isn't here as usual. Yeah, which idiot's going down tonight? This guy, Sugar Gay. It's on you, Bill. Yeah, which idiot's gonna, gonna, yeah, I don't even remember my lines. Which idiot's gonna come down here and fight me? This guy could not sound less interested if he tried. Nobody is safe. I'm talking about front row ringside. Whoa, whoa, now hang on a second, Tank. You keep your hands off that hot soccer mill. Oh, I swear on SVR 2011, I will jump in that damn time machine and I will come back to the year 2000 and beat your meat Tory Wilson style. Nolte, a boxing trainer for 47 years. He shoved him and now Mark Merrow gets right in his face. And he wants to fight. He's ready. Come what? on, Tank. What is this shit? Just so awkward. Like, bro pushes Tank Abbott Elementary over there. He can't start the game. His connection is too weak. Oh, uh, that sign says I'm drunker than Scott Hall. Ooh, awkward. Boy, we could really use something to ease the tension right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's a retro DDJ moment. 
I'm gay. Sugar what? Tom just messing with you. What the hell is he doing? Ronaldo and come on, come. we've got a boxing match going on. Look at this. What, what the, the hell happened to this business? Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's it's Sting and he's still covered in red from head to toe. Where's he been? For two days, where's he been? Huh, I'm on my period. Are you sure you don't me as fuck? Oh, good God. I've officially become WCW Thunder April 26, 2000. I'm absolutely garbage. Oh, it's over for me. Yeah, get up. I'm all right. Get the Hey, Michael Cole, uh, how do you feel about this episode? Who cares? Yeah, me too. And that red is symbolic. He looks like he walked off the set of a remake of Carrie. Is what he does. He walks down. Look at, look at him. Like a zombie. Look like a expression. zombie. Nah, he looks like anal bleeding. That's what he looks like. Also, didn't they just recreate something similar on AEW recently with uh, Edge and Malachi Black, I think? Oh, God, that's not a good sign. I do love Sting, though. I'm not going to slander him too much because he's an icon. And this bad episode cannot be his fault. He can't do anything wrong. Or focused, or that's trying to send fear to the oh. new blood Sting. Okay, except that. He can do that wrong. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Forget what I said. It's here to be uh, the Blitz from How I Met Your Mother. It's over for me. I don't really know much about this Vampiro guy, but he looks like a creator wrestler. And I'm not talking the good side of community creations, okay? I'm not talking like what's the status and everything, the upper echelon. No, I'm talking like you just got into community creations, the most recent tab just uploaded, and you see a bunch of dog WCW. Oh, I'm doing it. Watch me out here. I'm the bomb. Move over Bruce Wayne. Vince Russo is the new Batman. <sighs> Upstate Rochester is not a part of New York. What we're trying to say is this place just sucks. And speaking of sucking. Oh my god, please make it stop. Speaking of sucking. Speaking of sucking? Hey, I, uh, let me go ahead and speak some suck right now. Hang on a second. <clears throat> WWE 2K20. At Slamboree, I'll show you. I'm buff and I'm the stuff. <laughs> oh, that's Buff Bagwell. I'll be completely honest, I never really bothered to Google who Buff Bagwell is because that name fucking sucks. But I guess that's the man, huh? That's the guy. I've, I've heard something of a Buff Bagwell on a pole match or something like that. I don't know. I genuinely don't know any context around that. I've just heard people say Thank that. Thank God I never have to know what that is. I'm never watching that. I honestly, it... You, you want me to watch it, don't? Like a wrestling interview, Rick. Because it's a damn suit. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. We now interrupt this program for a special message to Ice Spice from yours truly. Your ass on a platter delivered to me to get your ass. Um, nom, nom, nom. And they are on the front line of this war that we have seen since the 10th of this month. There is Team Package. Hold on, their faction name is Team Package? I mean, it's not the worst one I've ever heard, but it's, it's close. Also, uh, with all due respect, shout out to Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, dig Although I will tell you this, she's no Lilith Sternin from Cheers and Frasier. That is old school cool. Let me tell you something. Mm -mm -mm. You're letting me talk! Woo! That's good for me and bad for you! Is that right? <laughs> okay, now I'm tapped in. I'm here for this. Woo, 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 woo. Hogan is the man. Okay, no, we're not here for that. No, no, no. Since 1985, things were going. Woo! And they've been going. Woo! The package has been going. Ah. Yeah. You remember earlier when I thought that other guy was on crack? Uh, well, I'd like to go ahead and change my vote uh, for this round to Ric Flair, who is clearly on that super crack perk slurp juice shield pot pack a punch ray gun. This motherfucker is insane. That's why we're still here. And that drives you nuts. Russo, you're a mark. A mark for the business and a mark for Ric Flair. Oh, please, I beg, I beg, stop, stop. There was only one franchise in WCW. His name was Sting, and it's Sting. He said that shit like he had some hay fever. He, he had some pollen stuck in his throat. I'm the franchise. Terry Von Erich, Terry Von Erich, and Texas Stadium, God rest his soul, in front of 50,000 people. Did he just say he's... 
Good God. <laughs> Our Brody, bro, Bruiser Brody. God rest his soul. In the Buddha time. He just said, he's two. What's your point? I have pissed away more money on bar tab than all three of you will ever make. Now that's a shoot right there. I guess this is the part of the show where I'm supposed to be the chicken shit heel, right? Oh man, fuck me in the ass. Uh, shut up. You already kind of hated and cringed at the idea of wrestling fans constantly using insider terms, but this is a whole new level of terrible. And listen, maybe this is just the way things were, okay? Maybe this is just how WCW did things, but I don't like this. I don't, I don't get the appeal. Like, maybe I'm way too young here to understand or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad is bad. But, like, I feel like there's got to be a certain element of, like, don't break this wall when it comes to wrestling. We all know what's going on here, but I don't want you to constantly be like, hey, you know this thing? We all know what's going on here. We're smart. <laughs> We're smart. I, what? Fuck you. I'm not Wahoo. I'm not Dusty. I am Vince Russo, and it is my time. Wow. And you know why I will own you, slick dick? <laughs> I'm in physical, physical pain. Physical pain. I'll never have 4% body fat, and there's probably a lot of people in here that think I'll never have a woman like Liz on my arm. Hang on a second, before I unpause again, I've got to do some of those uh, Sharpay from High School Musical warm-ups just to get myself ready. <laughs> This shit sucks, sucks. And that is that you don't own Liz's contract. WCW owns it, which means I own Liz. What? Liz what? is my property. Sons and he's running he with owns Elizabeth. Her, but he owns her. And now security's got her. And they're taking her out. He's kidnapped her. What is this fucking show? What in the Red Dead Redemption 2 just stole a woman from Valentine, hogtied her, put her on the back of my horse, and rode away with her is this? But I just want to go ahead and say, uh, first impressions of Vince Russo. Fuck you. You suck. They're going out back. We are watching this for the first time as you are. They are throwing her in a car. Russo apparently gets in the and they take off. Oh yeah, great fucking storyline this is. Yeah, no, Vince Russo pulled out a Pokeball, threw it at this woman, and caught himself an Elizabeth. What are we- In fact, he didn't even use a Pokeball to catch Elizabeth. He just stole another trader's Pokemon. Not saying that women can be stolen, not saying that they're objects. She is a free independent woman, and she don't need no man. That was close. I want him to take a look at you, because you should be doing this tonight, right? The I'm telling you, back up, coach, I'm fine. Come on, Paige. Oh, this is gonna end with this guy as the world champion. I can't fucking believe it. I bet each and every one of you are wondering what I'm wearing under this robe. Anal bleeding. Yeah. I think we may have just found another sound effect for the sound effect board. This could work out well, the old- Yeah. Oh, the, hang on, let's trial it. We'll give it a trial period now. Let's see if it works. Hang on, because not all of them work. Or more importantly, what I'm not wearing. I'm not even sure what the greater falloff was. Is it WCW or Tammy Sitch? Because this is a very bad falloff. With no due respect. I know what the men come to see. Yeah. And right now, boys, I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. What the men come to see. Okay, dude. Can you imagine you're just an innocent, like, dad in the crowd? You brought old Timmy Tapper over here. It's Timmy Tapper's 10th birthday. He's like, yeah, woo, well, I love Timmy. CW, uh, yeah. And then you've got this fucking borderline stripper in the ring being like, what the men come to see? I'd, I'd be like, Timmy, we're out. This, we're going to the competition. Are they still on? What's the time? The eight. <laughs> Little Nature's like, the fuck? I only have love for Ric Flair and counting a three. Get out of my face now. As Paisley slinks to the ring, it gives me a brief opportunity to tell you that this Friday ticket's on sale. Okay, I have no idea who this Paisley character is, but her entrance and her theme, 10 out of 10. What the fuck? So you can't fight between these two. I'm not sure that experience is going to be the difference. They've got a scratch. They've got a bite. They've got a rip. They've got a tear. Uh, again, I just have to go ahead and reiterate this point. I'm very happy to see the progress that women's wrestling has made since whatever the fuck this shit is. I guess you can't blame Charles. An uppercut. Right, here we go. He hit her with the... He punched what? Turn the tide, so to speak. A wild swing. Oh, how about that? Trying to regain her balance. What is she doing? Oh, she jumps on the man. What in the world did we just see? Is she tough? 
uppercut from Paisley. What even is this whole sequence? Like, seriously, the awkward dive to the outside. She hits her own guy. The low blow, which didn't even remotely come close to his nads. Yeah, Candido looking on. Look at this handspring. Whoa! Oh, and as is the theme with this show, another disappointment. She began that move cooking Tiffany Stratton style and ended it cooking Tiffany Strat off style. <laughs> and now here's the artist. As Tammy straddles the steel turnbuckle. <laughs> Yo, I'm so serious when I say this might be the worst match of all time. What even was that Paisley kip up, by the way? What a flop. And hey, Tammy's not done yet. <laughs> Gut <-wrench> uh. <sighs> All right, next spot, DDT. What's next on this crazy thing? What's next? Hopefully the outro screen. I'm ready to take this bitch home. And now Tammy comes back. She's not done yet. It hammers away on, on the side of the head of Paisley. She's hitting her with them phantom punches right now. She ain't hitting nothing but CO2. Oh, and Sunny perfectly describing just how my head feels after watching this episode. Ah. I don't know. I apologize for this. Gene, what the hell is going on here? What is she doing here? Oh, come on, Booker, honey. Don't be like that. I just want to ask you a few questions. This is about what? Don't honey me, honey. <laughs> Don't honey me, honey. That might be the best line I've heard today. Leave it to Booker T to give me some joy in an otherwise garbage show. What's your plans for Mike Awesome tonight? Straight off the independent circuit. If he's playing straight with me, he just might make it. Gene, this interview is over, man. What are you doing here? Gene's face is like, well, I mean, if he ain't hungry, I know I am. But again, <laughs> we mentioned on Monday that Booker T... The previous Monday was caught between a rock and a hard place. Oh, Again, holla, if Monday, you hear me. If he doesn't listen, if he doesn't do what they want, you know that they're going to make his life absolutely head. miserable. Oh my God, please, Steiner, please bring some excitement to this show. I'm hooting, I'm hollering right now, and most importantly, I'm struggling. His bald spot. Wow. <laughs> his lip gimp to the ring spot. His anal spot. It's not an athletic spot. Cook his ass, Steiner. Cook his ass. Try to focus as Mike Awesome, the heavyweight with cruiserweight ability, comes off and wipes out Booker T. Yeah, that's real great and everything, but in a couple of decades, this guy called Keith Lee's going to come along. You're all going to forget about this awesome guy real quick. Well, there you go. Puts it in perspective from Bobby the Brain Heenan. I couldn't have said any better than that, Bobby. Booker T begins to cook in this match until Steiner nails him with the US title, and Mike Awesome hits a Sheamus Celtic cross for the win. That's that motley group of misfits that we saw on Nitro. And they are certainly that, Mike. That's the, those are the guys that were thrown out of Eric Bischoff's office. Man, I am just looking at the fits in the ring right now. Not a single good fit in there. My goodness. We then see a Bret Hart interview where Bret essentially says Hogan's back, but uh, fuck Hogan. He's a yellow and red bitch. Also, the interviewer straight up just name drops Vince McMahon, Shawn Michaels, and the WWF, which I find insane. Bret Hart says technical wrestling is Hogan's weakness, and I'm going to turn that red and yellow bitch into a pretzel when I get my hands on him. I can't find any peace. This is more personal than people have any idea. And I will make Hulk Hogan pay and pay and pay and pay. You know, this is really reminding me of the uh, Shawn Michaels Undertaker WrestleMania 26 promo. Hulk Hogan, if I can't beat you, then oh. I have no career. Here we go. Jeff Jarrett and Eric Bischoff come to the ring to face Diamond Dallas Page and David. All right, main event time. This shit is almost done. Yippee. Oh, no. You, you, you wait a minute. Kimberly. Yeah. Kimberly's yeah. going to be the referee for this thing. Yeah. Divorce. Oh, well now hang on a second. Maybe they can uh, turn this around here. Where? Uh, the deck is stacked and so is the referee. What? What did you just say? This motherfucker really just said, the deck is stacked and so is the referee. Uh, Hall of Fame, now. That's her husband Almost that X. she's jobbing right there. Almost X. All I know is I need Kimberly to job. And I don't know what the hell just happened outside, but the sun randomly just started shining a bunch. I think it's my time, fellas. God has heard my cries. He he knows it's over. It's either WCW 2000 or die. I'm ready. My God, here comes David Arcat. What's left of him? He is literally dragging himself out. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. He's over towards Arcat. One, two, three. What? I don't even know. 
have words for what the fuck I just saw. This is the worst fucking show of all time. You get the you get the award. This is fucking dog. WCW. I can't. David Arquette, I'm gonna say it again because I don't believe. Listen, okay, let me do some style of math for you right now. You take my 33 and a third chance of wanting to live. You times it by WCW, and oh, what do you know? I want to die. Take the worst Raw, the worst NXT, the worst SmackDown, the worst AEW. WWE 2K20, AW Fight Forever, and WWE 2K Battlegrounds, roll them all up into a ball, and it's still better than whatever the fuck this episode was. I hate this promotion.